Good morning, folks. Let's get the boring part out of the way. Last 24 hours on our star over at spaceweathernews.com shows a calm, earth-facing disk. The earth-facing quiet has continued to depress flaring, especially from the large northern sunspot group. Okay, enough boring. The second CME struck yesterday afternoon, and although not too fast, it is extremely dense. And since double impacts can act like much larger single impacts, we catapulted over the low-level storm condition right into a level 2 disruption. The Honorable Judge goes magnetometer, concurring. It's a little law joke there. There were a ton of electrical events potentially associated with this okay candidates like plane engine trouble, and great candidates like power surges and fires associated with transformers. Send in reports if you hear about similar events today. And folks, Earth gets lucky again. You remember those filaments that got scared of testing the Earth facing quiet and dove back trying to get out of sight? Well apparently word has spread back onto the far side to get everything out before they can see the blue circle. Stereo A behind the sun here, so that same side of the sun is now on our right because we flip perspective. You should notice the burst erupting from there. Coming back around, you can see the corona tremble upon release and also the activity within the umbral magnetic fields. Coming to Soho, Lasco, indeed, good thing this isn't headed our way. The earthquake of the day was in Chile. It was an aftershock from its bonkers activity in early fall. We do expect those to continue for weeks. Otherwise, the top quakes were dead on OLR anomalies in Indonesia, Philippines, and in New Zealand where the OLR line dropped to last night. Interestingly, we also saw an anomaly in the North Atlantic, and disaster hits Svalbard as an avalanche destroyed homes, and there are people missing hit our top viewer locations to show high pressure clearing the eastern skies with another low driving storms out west. In Europe, that convergence line has not moved in days, but when it finally does, you could see a polar vortex type cold spell. There is a low in northwest Australia, its top earth spot there, and it feeds the low to the south of it there as well. Website members, be sure to listen to Fly on the Wall from yesterday. Billy and I recorded it through the week as we are on the road this weekend. What you are about to see could let a 10-year-old predict the weather every day. Learning to do is better than listening to what someone else thinks. Also got some shots of our star to close. It's 5.30 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.